This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one day reading for uh, February 20th, 2024. It's currently December 18th, 2023, 8.16 p.m. Eastern time. SPY at the time of this reading is currently $471.97, that's USD. And the shuffle video we're about to play for you was created on December 5th, 2023 at 9.03 p.m. Eastern time. That's this video here in the corner. The overall theme and behavior for the 20th, we have an important technical price level uh, on the scale of at least a one month chart. So a multi-day scale uh, chart, an important technical price level there that's highlighted Usually, you often see the science card around a high. Um, we have cross-reading uh, uh, cross congruency here with the, like uh, overlapping with the one-year high cluster card. In other words, the high card of the February cluster on the 2024 reading appears here. Um, there's also some other indications of another high here. So probably come out of lows. We might have a low here in the morning. It's hard to say where we open in relation to the prior day's close. We'll get into that in a little bit, but behavior around the highest side for the day, we have a notable rally that offers an opportunity to open up a short position. Behavior around the lowest low for the day, a notable move, unexpected move um, to the upside out of the low. And I'm advised to trade around a rally along a diagonal trend line that ends with a fast sudden move higher and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. Before we go any further, I want to make sure everybody's aware of the whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. And we do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. 5% of the profit should be donated forward to one of these charities. 5% of the profit should be donated back to the channel here, leaving you with 90%. Make sure to spend that 90% out of love. As long as you follow those rules, you follow the rule of karma for the channel, the, the universe considers you an angel investor. It's going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. Blessings to all my angel investors. So in the pre-market, we have this notable decline through multiple support levels. And then there's this crest or this high that forms around the open or maybe like the first half hour. There's a crest at a high that we sell off from down to and through support. And then we do like this U-shape reversal below support, come back and reuse it as support. So I think we probably have like this fast sudden move higher in that first half hour, taking us into a high. The fortune card indicates a significant reversal that'll really stand out on a one-day chart. You might cash out of a long position there at that fortune card. Hard to say. I think overall it's bullish. Overall, I'm pretty sure this is bullish. Um, we end up at highs at the end of the day. If there's an important resistance level highlighted, like we're, we're bound by the upper end of a range here between 12 and 1, and then we break through it right around 1 o'clock. We tend to establish support between 1 and 2, and there's like this near overbought peak that we sell off from as we move into 2 o'clock. And then there's like this bullish move, or this, maybe even a breakout here between 2 and 3, breaking through resistance, bumping along resistance, breaking through resistance, that sort of stuff, taking us to another high. A bit of a decline in the last hour, followed by a notable move higher, an unexpected move to the upside, and then a big move right around the close, taking us to a high for the day. And if we're at highs at the end of the day, I would likely open up a short position right there at the close to close the following day. And if I'm wrong about that uh, if it's like i would probably want to have a backup exit place somewhere around the, the end of the week or the end of the following week um sneak preview for the following day cross reading congruency sideways rotation fast sudden move higher marking the end of that sideways rotation we'll talk about that in more detail when we get into the reading for the 21st that's sby for the 20th of february 2024 please subscribe if you haven't done so it really helps the channel most importantly make sure to follow that rule of karma my friends you know where to go you know what to do blessings to all my angel investors i'll see you guys on the next one